Hey everyone, this is FamTam and today I'm going to show you how to get KD Plasma Desktop in Pop OS. So if you're using Pop OS, you'll know that it is using GNOME as desktop environment and some users doesn't like this desktop environment and if you're one of them, you can just change it and also I think you can't do that much customization with GNOME desktop but on the other hand, there's KD Plasma where you can do a lot of customizations like installing themes and using widgets which is very cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the browser and let's just search gnome to kde plasma and go to this website which is called is false and let's scroll down and here you will see that it has some commands for installing kde plasma and it says install kde desktop environment on ubuntu and as you know that pop os comes from ubuntu so you can use the same commands on pop os as well so there is kde full kde standard kde plasma desktop if you want the full version then you can install kde full if you want the kde standard version then you can do that i'm gonna go for kde plasma desktop okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just quickly go to the terminal so let's go to the terminal and here I'm gonna just type sudo apt update put my password so once it has updated let's go clear that and this time I'm gonna type sudo apt install not install sudo apt upgrade press y now guys this is gonna take some time so if you're new to this channel i would really appreciate if you subscribe and this is the only way to support me support my work i just love doing these things and uh, yeah this is it and also you can give it a like i would really appreciate that so i will see you in a few minutes when it is done so as you can see it's done so what i'm going to do now is copy this command sudo apt install kde plasma desktop and then just clear this and then here paste it so you can write it if you don't want to copy and paste also you can find these commands in the description below you can just copy from there so let's just press enter put my password press enter so i'm going to just press y and press enter and just wait for it to finish downloading kde plasma the process is very simple it will just take some time guys let me tell you something kde plasma desktop is my favorite because i can do a lot of lot of customizations i can install a lot of themes a lot of widgets all the cool stuff and also i'll be making some kde plasma desktop customization videos so i'm gonna be uploading them in the future very soon so if you want to check those out so i think we are almost done here okay so we're gonna just press enter and uh, it is asking me to choose the default display manager so i'm gonna go for the first one which is gdm3 this is for the gnome so this is gonna be just fine press enter so i think we are done here we're gonna just close the terminal close everything let's just close everything so i'm gonna just restart my computer and i will meet you at the login screen so guys as you can see this is the login window so i'm gonna just click on my username so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna just click on this view kind of picture here and if you click on this you will see that there will be two options one says pop one says plasma you will only get these two options when you have installed kd plasma as well so let me just show you a bit more close up so guys these are the two options one is pop one is plasma so you will get this plasma over here if you have installed the plasma desktop so i'm gonna click plasma so once i chose plasma from there i'm gonna just put my password 
here and login so guys as you can see this is the kde plasma desktop we have successfully installed kde plasma in our pop os so this is basically pop os but the desktop environment we're using right now is kde plasma let me go to the settings you can go to the application style and from here you can do change a lot of things window decoration change your themes here and this is not it you can actually get a lot of themes as you can see guys there are a lot of lot of themes here that you can apply let's just try this one click install i'm just showing this to you so that you know that how much you can customize kd plasma desktop so this is the theme that i have just installed let's let's see how it goes okay this is not too bad so guys as you can see you can do a lot of customizations after this i'm gonna try out different themes and which one works the best also i'm gonna try making these file managers transparent uh, which I think looks very cool. So yeah, that's it. Hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one